Hello, my name is Daniel Farlin, and I'm responsible for network solutions marketing in the transportation vertical of Alcatel Lucent Enterprise. I'll provide you with an overview of the solutions we offer for rail, which includes trains, metro rail, and light urban rail, along with a few examples of customers we have and the solutions we provide. ALE focuses on four major segments of transportation, rail, road, air, and sea. Each of these segments are very different in terms of customer needs and solutions. In addition, each transportation segment is divided into sub-segments, each with their own unique requirements. I'll be discussing ALE's approach to securing these segments and sub-segments as an overall strategy. This strategy encompasses three major pillars, passenger experience, operational efficiency, and last but not least, safety and security. ALE provides the building blocks for rail transportation network infrastructures that include wired networking, Wi-Fi, communications, and applications. We work with transportation specialized contractors and turnkey integrators that we have partnered with in the past and continue to do so for major transportation projects. ALE supports these integrators around the world on small to large projects from a network infrastructure and communications perspective and through our network of business partners around the world. We provide a secure transportation solution, quick deployment of innovative services and a strong return on investments. These technologies are becoming common elements in transportation in order to increase capacity, safety, and comfort for travelers and working personnel. IoT devices enable a diverse set of applications, but they are all connected by a common thread, mobility, IoT, and Ethernet. Today, on roadways you find digital traffic and pedestrian signaling, video surveillance, digital road information displays, variable and active speed limit signs, and increasingly Wi-Fi on buses at stations and depots. In rail systems, digital signs and ticketing as well as Wi-Fi at train stations and on rail cars are common. Airports provide Wi-Fi for travelers and visitors and increasingly are deploying location-based services for wayfinding while port authorities are using outdoor Wi-Fi and asset tracking methods to simplify logistics and management of freight on the docks. All of these are increasingly being connected via Ethernet, both wired or wireless, to an IP network and newer IoT devices such as traffic volume and speed sensors, active warning signs and positive automatic train control are increasingly being deployed to improve passenger and traveler safety. These devices and sensors are found along roadsides and trackside and some are embedded in roadways and next to rail tracks. There needs to be a secure method to connect these devices and sensors to a network infrastructure so they can be managed monitored and cost-effectively maintained without increasing the likelihood that they can be breached by a cyber attack. How secure are my network devices, Wi-Fi, internet access and communication systems in transportation? Well, they're all vulnerable and have the same issues with access control, single point of entry, etc. There's a high impact potential with hundreds of thousands or more IoT devices on the network and any compromised device can be a gateway to the network. So what additional risk do you need to consider? Well, attacks on non-critical networks such as entertainment systems or passenger Wi-Fi may seem no more than an inconvenience at the time but they can be a path to much greater access for the hacker. Security vulnerabilities exist in the most unlikely places throughout all transport networks and since these networks are by definition on the move and distributed, they can be much harder to protect. According to Razor Secure, a transport cyber defense expert, rail aviation and car manufacturers and operators can expect more and more attacks of their distributed IT assets and networks in the coming year. With the increased use of mobile devices, BYOD, and IoT, the need for security is becoming more relevant. 
Cyber attacks are increasing in volume and in the cost to recover from these attacks. Recently, the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency was attacked for ransomware which took more than 2,100 ticketing machines, workstations, and computers out of order. The Transportation Authority was able to recover their network, fortunately without having to pay the ransom of $73,000, but their estimated loss in fares was more than 500000 per day over the U.S. Thanksgiving weekend, so a significant loss in revenue and a damaged image and brand. A train has a number of subsystems, which are designed for train and passenger safety, such as interlocking and control, train control, conductor information and video surveillance, as well as passenger convenience, such as ticketing and passenger info and internet on the train. All of these subsystems can be vulnerable, and in a poorly designed network, a compromised IoT device can provide access to the rest of the network and other subsystems leaving the network exposed to cyber criminals and hackers. A properly designed network with appropriate security measures will reduce the risk of successful cyber attacks. Let's take a look at IoT containment. IoT containment is used to separate and secure specific devices or a group of devices from others in the network. For example, signaling systems, video surveillance, communications, and back office. IoT containment enables IoT adoption securely and efficiently. This is a metro rail example. If we take a look at the different elements that are part of this network, you'll see that security cameras, intrusion detection, exit signs, etc. may apply across various areas of the rail business. We have ticketing systems, emergency phone, digital signage, toll systems. When you combine them all, you want to make sure that the access to one part of the network does not go into another part of the network. So for example, you have passengers and travelers going to the train station talking to agents. They need access to a particular ticketing system. Then you have first responders and nurses, doctors, that are available in case of emergency or security threats. They typically use another part of a network. Then you have administration, which has their part of the network, and usually the train signaling system has its own network. So how do we secure these from other areas of the network? We set up containers. In this case, we'll set up a signaling container for the train signaling to the servers. We set up another container for traveler services. A third for security. So for example, if you were to set up a video camera at the security container, you would set up a security profile for that type of camera so whenever it's connected, the system would automatically detect it and accept it into the network, authorize it, if you will. As well, you can monitor the type of applications that are running through your network. So if you set up your camera for SIP traffic only and you notice that there are attempts of other traffic flowing through it or a lot of bandwidth running through that particular camera, that may be an attempted denial of service attack or a cyber hacker which en will enable you to take action such as shutting that camera down. And this is how IoT containment can protect your network and set it up as a single network infrastructure using virtual containers to secure the rest of your network. Along with the benefits of using a single network infrastructure supporting a private network for every department instead of a physical network for every department, comes the benefit to use a single network management system. This enables user and device access and management, backbone network and data center visibility and metrics all on a single platform. With advanced smart analytics, you have a view of the network and how it's being used to enable you to be more proactive about restricting 
or limiting access to certain applications, setting time limits for visitors, and securing information from prying eyes that are not authorized to do so. You will even have the ability to plan for any network upgrades based on projected bandwidth utilization and current usage patterns. The objective is to simplify IT, one network with a single network management system. With all those devices and sensors providing information, you need a method of capturing, analyzing, and understanding what's going on within the network and at the edge. Smart Analytics is the answer. Our OmniVista 2500 network management system with Smart Analytics provides a wide range of in-depth network-wide information to assist IT personnel in understanding the usage of the network. It helps fine-tune the network to protect and enhance the user experience and in addition the unique integrated predictive analysis engine provides network trend analysis to support proactive versus reactive capacity planning. Smart Analytics has a network-wide view across wired and wireless devices which makes it possible to identify new and evolving network applications from any device. The OmniVista 2500 can also download and install updated application signatures to identify new and evolving network applications, further simplifying management and reducing operational expenses. IT now has a comprehensive dashboard and reporting tool to understand the performance and usage of the applications, switches, and users with detailed troubleshooting information, along with the ability to enforce quality of service policies across the entire network to deliver a high quality application experience. Smart Analytics means application visibility and predictability for IT. ALE's network security technologies are built into every switch in order to protect against cyber attacks. We start with user and device authentication which only allows authorized users and devices to be connected to the network. Next, we use Access Guardian, which is a built-in feature for our network switches, enabling you to select the type of authentication method and security to use. We follow that with our Quarantine Manager, which uses intrusion detection and automatic quarantine functions to safely prevent users and devices from connecting to the network. We then add Code Guardian to further protect the operating system software in each network switch. Together, they make up the key elements of our network security strategy. Now, let's take a quick look at each segment of the ALE network infrastructure and how it can be used in a railway network solution from the edge to the core. This is a railway network example which shows the network elements from the edge to the backbone and to the core of the network. You can see the core and data center switches supported by our analytics and management system, 
connected to a multi-gig backbone network, which may be Metro Ethernet or fiber, further connected to multi-gig edge switches or Wi-Fi access points, all being hardened versions when deployed in the field under harsh weather conditions, just like the ones in the Goddard Tunnel in Switzerland. So why do we win with our network solutions for railways? Because we have a strong LAN portfolio supporting high power o over Ethernet, IP core and backbone, and scalability and simplicity from 1 gig to 40 gig all on the same operating system. We have a portfolio of onboard LTE routers for Wi-Fi to passengers. We have a ruggedized portfolio. We support IP MPLS access. We have Code Guardian and Precision Time Protocol. All of these combined help us deliver a railway solution that will fit your needs. Our case study is for rail, but in this case the customer is not the rail operator, but rather the tunnel operator. Goddard Tunnel is the world's longest rail tunnel with 57 kilometers between Zurich and Lugano. It's a dual bore tunnel and is used for freight and high speed trains that reach speeds up to 250 kilometers per hour between Switzerland, Italy and Germany. The requirement was for voice and data communications in some very difficult conditions. This project was in collaboration with Alcatel Lucent Nano Kia and also includes other communication aspects such as LTE in the tunnel, GSM for signaling and some WDM equipment. The conditions were difficult. Temperatures can be extreme as well as the environment being dusty, humid, with convection cooling only. In addition to that, the tunnel could only be accessed at both ends and at two intermediate passages with only a four hour maintenance window on weekends during its construction. So the environment and the accessibility constraints meant that the equipment needed to be rugged with very high availability and resiliency. The solution involved many aspects as I was explaining earlier, however, for the network it included ruggedized switches to support operations, communications, emergency and standard phones, public address system, a tunnel monitoring system and tunnel control system, safety cameras, 2500 of them. In terms of benefits, we have a safe and reliable operation of high-speed trains as well as centralized monitoring and control from the tunnel control center. The tunnel was officially opened on June the 1st, 2016 and full service began on December 11th, 2016. This is a sample list of some of the railroad customers we have worldwide. One of our strongest assets is that we have a worldwide network of accredited business partners. This provides global presence with specialized integrators and can provide localized support for large projects which includes installation, integration, commissioning, service contracts, currency transactions and importation, customs and transport. ALE solutions provide three key benefits for the rail industry. We provide increased value for rail authorities by providing solutions that enable rail authorities to deploy innovative services quickly and securely, maximizing their long-term investments. We improve safety and security by helping the rail industry move to IP, IoT and real-time applications. This provides rail authorities with more options in delivering safety and security for travelers, personnel and trains. And ALE helps rail authorities deliver unique traveler services by providing solutions that enable real-time, end-user and traveler services at train stations and on rail cars. This results in enhanced services for passengers and improved customer service for rail authorities. Thank you for listening.